Lexington, Kentucky. This is the South region. Xavier and BYU. Gus Johnson along with Dan Bonner as the two, these two teams get ready to play each other. And Danny, let's take a look at the bracket in the South. This is an 8-9 game, always an interesting one. The winner to take on the number one seeded Ohio State Buckeyes. Each of these teams scores a lot of points, a lot of three-point baskets. Uh... And that's his first, second team foul against the Cougars. Dolman to the basket. Can't get it to go. Playstead with a nice rebound. Good defense by Balderson. Ainge, rise and fire. Count it. Young on the baseline. No. Now Balderson and one. Fifteen thirty-six to play in the first half. Timeout on the floor. BYU takes an eleven to four lead. And Austin Ainge coming down with the three-pointer we mentioned in transition and Brandon Cole a guy that you normally don't assume for Xavier is going to give you a lot of offense but he operates very effectively inside BYU immediately though has the response to that Balderson gets out to run and is fouled in the transition. So Balderson is at the line. As he adds the free throw and BYU takes a 12 to 4 lead. BYU out of the Mountain West Conference taking on Xavier. Out of the Atlantic 10, one of those dangerous 8-9 games. And right now the Cougars from Provo have come out and they are right now hitting on all cylinders. And they've shot the ball very well. They have forced Xavier into some tougher opportunities. BYU 5 of 8 from the field. They are a scoring basketball squad. They led the Mountain West in scoring at 78 points per game, and they can really shoot it. 49% from the field, 41% as a three-point shooting team. Playstead off the mark inside. He's a very talented and athletic big man. At 6'11". And Xavier right at the moment looking for some offense. Inside and a whistle. Dolman, if you look. Seven unanswered points for Xavier to pull to within one. And now they pick up full court pressure. And if Brigham Young does have an Achilles heel, it's handling the basketball. They can't get shaky with it. And it was evident in their Mountain West Conference final against UNLV. I think that kind of game we're going to see, Gus, though, is going to be a spurt game. One team is going to score five or six in a row and then see if the other team can answer. Playstead backing his way in. Now in. Seven to shoot inside. Young turnaround jump shot. Rebounded. Balderson changed his shot and banked it in. Balderson is another one of those crafty guys who just knows how to get position. Excellent timing on the inside. I don't know how he got that shot up. Balderson, a senior from Alberta, Canada. 14-11. They play some serious basketball up in Canada now. Steve Nash is a pretty good player. <laughs> the Santa Clara star. Goldman, short. Weak side rebound, snatched down and stuck back in. Oh, this kid can play. Derek Brown, a freshman from Dayton. Inside Balderson, and that's an offensive foul, is it? No. No, a blocking foul. Second slam for Derek Brown. 11.06 to play in the first half. BYU up by a penny. The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. That's Austin Ainge. He is the son of former BYU standout Danny Ainge. And odds on, that little guy right there 
Danny's grandson, Andre, eventually will be lacing it up <laughs> and shooting jumpers for this BYU Cougars basketball team. Austin's wife, Crystal, giving birth to Andre in the stands. But Danny, it's hard to believe sometimes. It seems like just yesterday I remember watching Danny Ainge fly up the court and make a huge basket and they, go to the, and they go to the NBA and fight almost everybody in the league. <laughs> and now he's a granddad. Mike Rose with the big three and got to get out on these BYU guys. They can really shoot the basketball. Back in that zone defense. 2-3. Xavier's done a nice job on the offensive boards thus far. And that ball knocked out of bounds. And now coming into the game, Lavender for Xavier. As well as Jonathan Tavanari, a freshman from Brazil. Freshman of the year in the Mountain West Conference. Spinning inside, nice look, Cage can't hold on, but he finally picks it up and is fouled. Not only did he catch it, but he kept his balance and was able to make a little short jumper. He has seven. Ainge, guarded by Lavender. Balderson slashing. One thing about Balderson, looks like a rugged ball player. I mean, he's physical. Looks like he spent some time in the weight room, doesn't he? No doubt about it. No fear. A lavender. In the corner, wide open, Duncan. Rose the other way. Young, skip pass. Ainge, rise and fire. Lavender pushes it hard again. The lob, Dolman can't track it down. Lavender knocks it out of bounds. And a timeout on the floor. Great pace to this game. Cougars and the Musketeers. Gus Johnson along with Dan Bonner. Thus far, BYU has been able to negate the quickness advantage possessed by Xavier. Alderson again. In the corner, Rose. Got it. <laughs> you know, Balderson does such a great job. Very versatile guy in his career. He's got more than 250 rebounds, more than 100 assists, and he's made more than 103 point field goals. And that was an excellent pass right there. Raymond, the answer. And he's a three-point specialist. Young has been quiet. And a foul on the baseline will go against Brandon Cole. That foul was created by Young running court very effectively and Balderson getting down there in position to make a pass inside. Seven oh six to play first half. BYU up by four with the ball. Balderson, along with Ainge, Rose curling down the lane. Nice look on the baseline. Tabinari can't get it to stay down. It goes out of bounds and will stay right here. Cougars get a new shot clock. As you take a look at the game summary, each team shooting the ball very well. Of course, BYU ten out of nineteen, three three-point field goals already. And the man for Xavier. And Young just running.